backlit images, light rays, pretty cool. Been editing some images lately. Got an image right here. I want to show you how to put in a light ray or accentuate a light ray to be more exact. So let's get started with it. So we're in Capture 120 and we've got this couple sitting on the pier. So I'm going to bring a light ray from the sun down to them. And what I can do is I'm going to darken the background. I'm going to darken the blacks because I, I, I want them to be obscured at the moment. So the trick is, is you have to set your brush to a small size. And let's get in here and make sure that we have our flow and our opacity set just right. Our hardness should be set at, at way at zero. All right, there we go. So we're going to make the brush smaller using the bracket keys. Let's get nice and small in there. So it'll be right in the center of the sun. Just click one time, one single click. Now we're going to come out towards where I want the light ray to end. And we're going to make that pretty big. We really want to pay attention to the center circle, not the outside circle. The outside circle is where it fades to. The inside circle is where the majority of the light's going to be. So we'll go pretty big. Now the key here is to hold on the shift key and click one time. Don't paint, just click one time. So if we hit the M key now, we can see we've created this mask. See that red mask? That's the light ray. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here, grab my exposure tool. And you can see there's my there's my faux light ray. Now maybe it's not intense enough, that's okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the plus sign, create a new layer. And this time I'm gonna create a brush that is a little bit less soft on the edges because I want that to be the center of my, of my light ray. All right, that'll be good. Let's reduce the size. You can use the bracket keys or the brush options. So I'm gonna click right in the center pretty much come out, go right about where their faces are, hold on the shift key, click one more time. So now we've made a new light ray. So there's the second light ray and there's my first light ray, okay? So I'm gonna click on the second one and now I'm gonna try brightness because brightness is less, uh, less, it's more subtle, right? It's less harsh. The exposure is pretty harsh. Yeah, that's actually not too bad. That looks like a flare that's grabbing in there. There you go. So there is how you would make a light ray. You could do this not just in these type of images, but let's say that you have a sunset, something like this that you want to add another light ray to. You can see I've been playing with this. Let's go ahead and reset that. So same thing applies. Grab the brush, make the brush really small. Click on the sun, make the brush pretty big. Come on to the outside edge. Now make sure if you go off the image, notice your brush disappears. So you got to make sure you see your brush, hold down the shift key, click. If you want to see your mask before you make adjustments, just hit the M key. Okay. I like that. That's pretty good. I'm going to try the clarity on this because I know the clarity tends to make the clouds pop a little bit. Okay. That didn't have enough density in there. So we'll do that again. So I'll turn up that exposure. Yeah. I like that. Maybe make that a little bit warmer. So it blends in there. So there you go. So here's what that looks like. So what I was saying about the clarity, if you set your brush to like 100% opacity, it's going to be really dramatic, but you can see what this does. There's no set formula for any of this, so you got to kind of just play with it. Make that brush big. We're going to come out here, hold on the shift key. We're going to click. So now you can see it's really dramatic. This is gonna be hard if you wanna use the exposure to get it just right, or if you wanna use the brightness, but because it's so dense, when I use clarity, see what it does underneath the clouds and the shadows? Really makes them pop. So then if you wanted to add your other layer on top of that, they work independently. See, there you go. So there's a quick tip for you with Capture One Pro. It works in Capture One Pro 20 and Capture One Pro 12. Thanks for checking out this tutorial.